Who owns the South China Sea? China or is it international waters? Um, it is uh, a, a divided. Um, the, the Law of the Sea uh, Treaty, which we uh, took a major role in, in concluding, but which we have failed to ratify and therefore not part of it, uh, has dispute rec- resolution mechanisms, which we cannot avail ourselves of because we're not part of it. Uh, there was an effort made by us at the Law of the Sea uh, Tribunal uh, to obtain a default judgment against China, which we succeeded in doing. The Chinese did not participate in the proceeding. It was an arbitration. It ruled that uh, there were no islands in the South China Sea, an island defined as a uh, body of land that can sustain human life uh, directly without external support. That means that uh, there is no ability of any land structure in the South China Sea to create an exclusive economic zone. And that the the continental shelf uh, extending from the Philippines, Vietnam, China, Malaysia, uh, determines where exclusive economic zones are. But land features that are above high tide, that are visible above high tide, can have a 12-mile territorial sea. Uh, There are 48 structures that Vietnam claims do that. There are three structures that Malaysia claims do that. There are nine structures that the Philippines claims do that. China and Taipei, Taipei Beijing together, uh, have, I believe, none. Mm -hmm. Uh, And around these structures, there are territorial seas, 12-mile territorial seas. We do not accept the Chinese method of drawing baselines and defining the limit of these territorial seas, and therefore in the name of freedom of navigation, we violate what they regard to be as their territory. Uh, So this is, uh, now it began as a no man's land. Traditionally, in pre-modern times, all of the littoral states sent fishermen to these places. They got along with each other. Uh, The Western concept of sovereignty came in around the beginning of the 20th century in the region. And um, and it wasn't until the 1970s and 80s that countries began to claim specific land features. Uh, Oddly enough, if if you bear with me for a minute, the first such claim was launched by a Philippine lawyer who created something in the Spratly Islands called Freedom Land, the sole purpose of which was to issue postage stamps for the benefit <laughs> of, of, of his purse. He was eventually forced by Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos uh, to yield his rights, whatever they were, probably non-existent, uh, to these uh, non-islands uh, for one Philippine peso. Um, and that is the basis of the Philippine claim. Mm. Uh, The Vietnamese claim is based on a French claim against China in the Second uh, Franco-Chinese War, in which China uh, got an agreement in a treaty at the end, uh, relinquishing the French claims. Um, The Malaysian claim uh, originated in the 1980s. Uh, So um, we somehow, in 2000, Hillary Clinton, whom you mentioned earlier, in a meeting in Hanoi, inserted the United States into this and said we had an interest in in how it was dealt with. Um, We never defined how it should be dealt with. The obvious thing would have been to take the Vietnamese and Filipinos and the Malaysians and put them all together in one room and have them straight out out the claims they have against each other Mm. so they could take a common stand against Chinese claims. But we didn't do that. Well, the reason... And so there is no negotiation about territorial issues. The uh, tribunal had no authority to rule on territorial issues, sovereignty and the like. And it's a mess. And it is uh, incendiary because U.S. and Chinese uh, vessels, mostly Coast Guard on the part of the Chinese, mostly Navy on our part, uh, are contending for dominance of the region. A final point. It is said that all of this is a vital waterway for global commerce. Yes, two thirds of the boats, the ships, 
and the cargo that pass through the South China Sea are going to or from China. China has the largest interest in freedom of navigation of any country. And yet we claim uh, that we are defending freedom of navigation uh, by interfering with, uh, with China, the Chinese presence there. So this is the US again in China's face. We could imagine what we would feel like if the Chinese started behaving this way in the Caribbean, which we dominate. Uh, and it is a possible ca casus belli, it could become a war. 